Welcome adventurers, welcome to another Grumtas Extreme. Um, and yes, we're going to be playing some more uh, Alime. Because yet again, I've forgotten what it was called. <laughs> anyway, yeah, just going to be a chill, bit of a chill stream today. Um, I've been trying to uh, get enough uh, blood bags uh, so that I can make. Um, not that one. Make some more of this um, frost resistance mead. Uh, one of the other things that we need a lot of is um, thistles. I've been going out collecting lots and lots of thistles, and we've got about 84, 84 we've got. Roughly and approximately 84 uh, thistles. Um, also, um, I've now got my locks cape sorted out and it's maximum level is level three and it gives me a uh, resistance to frost but i don't know how much resistance it gives me um i'm wondering if it's an altitude thing so the higher up you go uh it's kind of a leveling thing uh so we still need more silver etc for that uh I seem to have carrot seeds. Oh, I made myself um, uh, my own cultivating my own cultivator. Finally, where did that come from? So, as you can see, I've been planting uh, all those turnip seeds. Look at that. That's a uh, just lots, isn't it? Seeds there as well. So I've got 75 turnip seeds now. I've also been um, planting some turnips. I'll just stand in the middle of it and go, wee! And that one. Cool. So I've got a stunking amount of um, uh, what, 15 turnips and 10 carrots. That's nice. Uh, Nomi and I uh, went out uh, back down here, so you can see we've actually ex explored it a lot. I've uh, found a lot of uh, locks, but also found a lot of those death, um, death mosquitoes. And... Um, if you've got a lot of health, um, you can probably suffer about two or three hits. Um, but if you haven't, you're, you're, you're in trouble. Um, also, uh, killed some uh, goblins. So, they're harder to kill. Uh, and I have got... Uh, yeah, so we've now got 17 needles, which is what you get every time you kill a death mosquito. Uh, the needles you can uh, make into arrows. There's a uh, uh, needle arrow, which is 26 to 45 damage. Uh, 26 to 45. Just the pierce. That's, that's more than the flint arrow. Even. 26 to 45. It's like the best arrow you can get. Except these, these silver arrows have spirit damage. I don't know what spirit damage is. Um, uh, they have not back, but I don't know that the... F uh, we've got obsidian as well, 22 to 38. Um, not back, 15. So... There's a chance of knocking them back, so when they get a hit, if a particular hit, they get sort of, sort of stuns them. As, so 
knocks them back, which means you can get another hit in. Because they, they, when the, the knockback happens, then you can't fight. Um, I can see. Excuse me. Um, we've also picked up some a black metal scrap. That just can't be teleported. Oh, it tells you on there whether it can be teleported or not. Do you ever notice that? Um, and it gives you... Um, I think it's something on here. Um, not that one, is it? Not that one. I have seen it on here. I'm sure it's right on here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's something in this. Uh, not those, is it? No. I'm sure I saw it somewhere. Maybe it's something in this. No. Um. Maybe it's something in here. Uh, that's looking the same. Nothing there, is there? Nothing there. A black banner requires... Oh, okay. Green banner. Red banner. They don't have a purple banner. If I had a purple and a green one, I'd be set. But dragon bird. That's a high end, isn't it? <laughs> like a lox rug. Oh, that's a big rug, isn't it? I feel like you'd make a lot more. You see the size of the Lux. That, that's four, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Anyway. I'm sure it came up on the screen saying that we could do something with it, but the, the, one of the problems is it flashes up on the screen and swipes across. But quite often you're in this menu, so it's got it's overlaid over the top of that, and you're supposed to be able to read it. But there's nowhere for you to go to see what it is. Um, what a trophy is it? No, we don't want that, do we? Uh, no. There's no way for you to know, uh, to see the messages that come up about what it is that you've, you've had added to the crafting. So then you're into the crafting trying to figure out what it was. Um, but, you know, I'm keeping hold of it for now. Um... So I want silver, um, and I think I'm going to need some more of those because I think we uh, we made Nomi um, a wolf fur cape because I had enough uh, wolf fur um, hides, but now we've got two left, so I have to get some more of those. So I get some decent uh, trousers, and that will increase my armor class, which is currently a 45. Anyway. Um, nothing particularly that's planned for today. 
it's just playing for the sake of playing uh, right let's do that 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 cool I remember to do that pattern as well because I always forget to do that so yeah um, there's not something on there is it no. turnip stew Uh, that doesn't move in there, does it? There we go. So you can see we got quite a lot of those. We're picking those up as well. Um, that's 25, 15, 25, 15 health. I think I worked out that although honey was good, actually. A carrot soup was actually better, better than honey. Um, carrot soup is twenty sixty for fifteen hundred seconds, and this is twenty twenty for three hundred seconds. So it's a bit of a no-brainer that I should be making stonking amount of carrot. Oh, what's the right one? What's carrot? Carrots. Making as much carrot soup as I can. Which isn't going to be very much because I only had 10 carrots. But hey. There we go. One mushroom and three carrots. Fifty. Oh, I don't want that to work. Uh, no, that goes in there. Now I can make uh, sausages, um, but I've got still got some of these, so I'll take uh, two of these, and that's that. Um, where they went. Oh, I think they were down there, but I, I'm filling up on those now. I need to uh, make some more of these larger boxes. Um, I'm basically running out of space for stuff. Um, I'm going to start putting stuff in there, I think. Uh, so I need to plant these guys. So we'll do that now. run out of seeds for that one. I can hardly see what I'm doing. What have you got left? Oh, 48. Cool.
They're not uniformly in order, actually, are they, these things? But never mind. There we go. Finally. That's all. That's a lot of turnips. Right. What are we doing? Do that. And just press 5. There we go. I'm going to stack it on there. And what I should be doing is I should be using the ones that I'm not cooking. Uh, those ones. Oh. Carrots. No carrot seeds. Yeah, I should be uh, making sure that I'm uh, that I've got some uh, seed ones going. Now, the eagle eyed amongst you may have noticed that I've got my own portal up here. It's not connected to anything at the moment. Um, but the idea is, is that if I go out somewhere, I'll take the stuff, I'll take a portal with me, and I'll call it Grums. Actually, let's just call it Grub. There we go. For now. And then um, at the different locations I've got, I'll have a list of names, and then all I've got to do is rename this to whichever one I want to go to, uh, and then I'll be able to go to it. That seems like a more uh, productive, practical way of doing it rather than having lots and lots of them. Uh, talking of lots and lots of them, uh, Ollie's been a little bit busy, uh, and he's removed all of the. Um, all the ones out of the inn. They're no longer in the inn. As you can see, they've all gone. It's a big empty space, which is a bit sad really because uh, this space was actually made for the purpose of putting them in there. Um, I'm out with that one. There you go. So this uh, is now going to be a place that we're not really going to be using that much. And um, you may have noticed on the right here that there's a new structure. Uh, I will uh, run past it. Give you a bit of a hint. Wow, look at that. Uh, the slight problem is that you can't get up the step. You have to run up the step to force yourself over it. So we've got uh, Mountain 3. Oh dear. Something just went thump. What's happened to our door? Oh, 
photo. <laughs> skeletons down here. Oh, two. Chasing our animals. <coughs> hmm. What oh, leather scrap? Hmm. Yes. Um, I don't know that we've got. We'll just do eight, see if I can do it. No, we haven't got a station here, have we? Um, let's put a station there. I don't know if I've got enough wood for this, have I? I might do. Come on. There we go. There we go. I'll put another one in. Can't see it. Can't see it. There it is. Right. Ah, uh, now I've run out of wood. Oh, the irony. <coughs> I used what wood I had to, uh... Right, where are you off to? <laughs> you gonna stop anywhere? No, you're gonna go over the top of that, are you? Okay, fine. Are you going the whole distance, are you? Oh, great. All the way down. Ah! Didn't mean to run over that. No! I'm sure I saw some more coming, but... Oh yeah, here we go. <clears throat> I've taken to picking everything up now. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Am I going the wrong way? Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. When there's a storm like this going on, I ought to be going back to my uh, harbour just to see um what's going on there so i better do this quick and then and then go over there there we go we'll leave that there for now um <coughs> See what's happening. Uh, 
please, please have the storm still going. Cool. That's where we get to find out um, quite how bad it is. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's go up here. This is what I mean about building, um, out at sea, like this. a big wave. Oh, there's a big wave there, look. Oh, no. some thistles. Is that three over there? Me. Right, now we're in shelter. Fire's gone out. Let's have a lit fire. I'm trying to light the fire. There we go. Yeah, so I got the fire kind of almost sheltered from the elements. It seems to be working. It's not being put out, but also a massive chimney type affair by just having a big open area. Out of there. Cool. As you can see, I've actually uh, boxed this in now a little bit, so it's still classed as shelter um, there, uh, but not here yet. Uh, that's still open, but it's still uh, the fire. Um, I did put a question out on the Discord about whether they wanted me to move the... Uh oh. Move, move the, the whole thing. Um, because there's there's a space for it in here. But the, I don't think they've actually been in game or been on to have a look. To sort of say whether they agree. But um, that whole sort of semicircle idea of the thing. That's got me thinking that maybe I'm, I'm being a bit too angular in box boxes. Uh, maybe I need to be doing curves. So um, I might see about actually getting it so it curves around here. See if I can figure out a way of getting it to curve around. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, I won't do it with the flooring. I'll, I'll keep the flooring as is. Um, I'm sure I had a station in here. Oh, that's right, I moved it over there, didn't I? Um, I can't use it because obviously it's not in the shelter. There we go. 
But I think we can say that even during a storm, There you go. I knew it went over the top, look. But this is actually just that little bit higher. Fortunately. Oh. What happened there? So I was playing the game earlier and I realised that um, G-Force um, Experience, whatever it's programmed called, had decided to uh, change the resolution up to uh, 4K. And I was having some horrible judders and things. So I've changed it back to 1440. It shouldn't have any issues, to be honest with you, but... We've got a 3070 graphics card operating all of this. It should quite happily run at uh, 4K. But it's early access, so it's probably not as optimised as we'd like it to be. It's not class as chat room, is it? Oh, it is, because the, the time is going down. And the camera time is going down here. Yeah. So, I'm dry, but it's not class as shelter. But then it's not supposed to, it's, it's a corridor. <coughs> uh, you also notice that um, I've straightened it out. Um, I've changed this, uh, I had that weird sort of up and over and then down going on, so I kind of got rid of that. Uh, it seems to be working, it's, uh, well supported shall we say. Oh, that's something I didn't notice. So I haven't actually uh, got anything covering the, the steps. Uh, but I could probably do that by just coming off the roof there and going across, across there. What I might do, actually, is I might get rid of the wall altogether and just have the door. Uh, and then just use... Um, uh, have you got any props? No, I haven't. Uh, just use um, the earth itself to, to make a sort of um, passageway um, for the steps to sit on. Or, 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 I could go for stone steps, couldn't I? We change it all to stone steps, and then it wouldn't matter. <coughs> that would be rather neat. Uh, that's overlapping a little bit, isn't it? There we go. And then we'll uh, uh, I've managed to actually do worse than I started off with. It's a non a non win situ situation. Great. But anyway, yeah. See if I can do that again, but this time without it going too far over. Oh, it's just determined, isn't it? There you go. That's better. Right. Hmm. Yeah, so I could have it, uh, so it goes all right on there, and then I don't need to have the walls. Um, don't really know why I've got that wall there at all. Uh, let's uh, get rid of that. Uh, let's... 
change that to that and go that, that, and that. Cool. There we go. <coughs> and that's just for now. So if I carry on uh, building this out, that's still blue, yep, that's green though isn't it, oh, look at that. Okay. That's a little bit irritating though, isn't it? That sort of lip. Hmm. Can I do something about that? Can I do the opposite? And if I do um, six, stand on here. That's quite a... Ooh. Quite a lip, isn't it? So all of these ones which are blue. Well, some of them are going green now. Skeleton surprise. Oh. Okay. Should be interesting. Get on the roof. Right at a seminar. See one of those, one of those. Let's do that for a bit of a fast tick up. big green one. Of 
got him, whatever it was. Another one. Ah, oh, I missed him. Cool. They're tired of fighting. They can't be tired. I got a green head. I got a, something from the Miss Green thing. So, these defenses work really well. A Rancid Remains trophy. Okay. So yeah, so I haven't finished with this, so this wall is going to carry on round here and round to sort of there-ish, which is up, up here. So I'm actually planning to get it up to here. Um, and then uh, likewise, uh, round here, I am going to continue this all the way round, round here, round here to here probably to here actually oh, I have got this here at the moment this was actually uh, built to stop them from being able to swim round because they when they swim around the wall they tend to hug the wall quite tightly so they're less likely to do that now I did actually have some rocks that were actually here and it seemed to stop them from doing it uh, but I wanted to make more of a moat and as soon as I cleared it out Suddenly I started having loads of uh, dwarves swimming in and being a pain. So, uh, having something like that to stop it from happening works really well. Uh, seems to be a lot of uh, dwarves attacking skeletons, probably. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm, I am here. No, I'm gone. I'm here again. No, I've gone. Shop kept saying hi there. Oh, something else you can do. Catch them by surprise and go. Oh! Like that. Um, I didn't catch him by surprise. <laughs> Oops. Jump up on that. Is 
So I'll just have a look, see if I can see any thistles. There was a, a brute over this way somewhere. Um, but I don't know where he's gone. He was there and he wandered off that way. Anyway. So yeah, uh, this is turning out to be quite a, a well fortified place. Small entry point there. Uh, probably need to repair that, don't I? Oh, that's not repair. That's something else entirely. Um, I did see them fire some arrows uh, so long here. <laughs> Nothing seems to be needing repairs. Yeah, I think I will do um, uh, that one. Just for the show of it. Hmm. Anyway, we're doing these, aren't we? So. Okay, so how are we going to work this then? Hmm. We're going to get from there to there, don't we? We're going to definitely curve out a bit. I run out of wood. Okay. Well, let's take some of this other wood out because I don't. Need that to I? Let's let's do that for now. Let's take those out. Right. Um. There we go. So how do you go about thinking about getting from a straight line here to curl it round to here? It's not even a a semicircle, is it? It's not going to be a semicircle, is it? Uh, what we've got, we don't want to. It's not even a full arc. It's like it's not a quarter, is it? Because if you think in a circle, it's going to be that shape, isn't it? Let's do the wall. Let's do the wall thing. So let's think about this from that angle. So that's to there. That's to there. That's to there. Is that working? It's kind of curling, isn't it? That's to there. Okay, no, that's right. I, I can, I can kind of see it. 
Um, I probably want to start from back there, though. Um, yeah. Hmm. Right to there. I honestly don't know what that noise is. I feel like it's the boats doing it, but they don't seem to be getting any damage. Are we not connecting? Why did it do that? It's because this is actually up in the air. Um, right, let's take those out at the moment. Because that's kind of defeating the object, isn't it? conducive to being helpful. Okay. So what I need to do really is have it so that it comes down a bit. Or I can have it so that this flooring actually goes up a bit. that's dangerously um, dangerous uh, let's just help it out a little bit by adding uh, oh that won't work will that, will that work right, touching no uh, Yeah, that'll work, right. <coughs> There we go. That'll do for now. Right. Uh, yeah, because what I could do is I could have these steps just up a little bit more and get it more in line with what's going on with that lot. I knew as soon as I connected that up to that one, it would suddenly make it all green again. Right. Okay. Right. We're not worried about that too much. Okay. Okay. And now I'll get number six, which does the smoothing it down thing. What it's actually going to do, hopefully is it's going to smooth it to the same level that this is at? Not, is it? So I'm going to have to fill, fill, the, fill it up, basically. So we need rock. Lots and lots of rock. 
something we don't really have a lot of, but we do have her here, so we'll get this rock. Right, we're not picking rock up at the moment, which suggests that I'm fully laden, or there's nowhere for the rock to go. Uh, there's nowhere for the rock to go. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Yep. What's going on? Okay. I'm definitely hearing something. This way? We've got uh, ten here. as well. I wonder if it's something that's stuck in the ground. It does happen occasionally. You get uh, creatures that stuck in the ground. I don't think I'm getting to it because the wood's in the way. seem to get any of that, can I? Uh, four. That suggests to me... ...that there is, uh, a bit of a disconnect going on over there for some reason. <laughs> anyway. Oi, oi, oi. I'm going to do my favourite trick of uh, filling out the ground. Okay.
Uh, raise it up a bit. Okay. I'm relatively happy with that. It's all gone uh, the lovely shade of blue that we like. And we'll go back to smoothing. It doesn't matter that there's a bit of a gap, it's just making sure that these are blue, because if they're blue, that means they're on ground, and then they don't really matter, it's a support. Right, the other thing I need to do is I need to get this to come out a bit, so this is going to be a bit difficult because of all the stuff I've got in the way. Uh, let's just get rid of that a minute. Yeah, I see him. Can you throw a rock at me? What is he off to then? So he was able to swim in along here and he somehow managed to get into the water and then swim round. And now he's hiding underneath my stairs. You're not a troll. Okay. But as you see, it's not going any higher, even though I'm telling it to go higher. So this is the limit. And this is to do with that tail down there. I can't, I can't get it to go much higher than that. In fact, that actually went down when I told it to do that, didn't it? Run out of rocks now. Um, is he throwing stones at me? Ideal, but there you go. So I might actually dismantle all of this uh, to get it to work, but <coughs> let's have a look. Let's uh, do the smooth down. There's two bits of wood in there. Actually, I don't know that. I think that works. I think we can leave it like that, can't we? Right, now I need to do this, but I need this to go like that. Which is interesting that it would actually let me do that. Okay. No 
we can just run across that. We'll ignore that little hole there. Actually, if I take that out, we can make it smaller by doing that, can't we? Is that working? No, because that... I want to go there, don't I? Right. Well, actually, we'll leave that one on there. Right. Right. Dink. Dink. How's that? It's kind of works, isn't it? Ah, for now, wood. That's cool. We're going out of wood again. I feel like I'm about to be a door. Just for the sake of it. Let me get rid of that as well. Um... Because you never know when you might want to be able to go down there. I'm going to start stop using. I'm going to start stop. I'm going to stop using uh, these as these doors um, after a while because uh, I actually quite favour the the larger ones. These ones. Because um, what you can do is you can uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's do that. And then. Uh, now I'm never going to want to go around to the left there, so that makes sense. What I'll do is I'll have one of those. Put that there. Oh, that's 12. Um, I don't think that's going to be enough, is it? What have we got? Oh, nine. Okay. Um, There we go. And then what you can also do is one of these. Um, like that. Okay. And then like that. So it actually works better as a door. Do you think do you think that looks better than I can do? I think that looks better than I can do. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, I can do something similar, can't I, with the, the way that the planks are going. There we go. So I like that one over there, isn't it? Hmm. Cool. Cool. 
One of these boats is doing a bit of damage. doesn't need repairs. It might be this one because it's in proximity to this. Um, <clears throat> don't quite know what's underneath that. Oh, well done. Another thing I want to do, how are we doing for time? Uh, is go up here and just sort of map out this area to sort of, sort of see what's up here. So I might do that in a minute. Uh, so there you go. I've learned something new. Okay, so this is kind of, a, obviously it's still a bit of a work in progress, but yeah. Who knows, next time you come back to watching me play, I'll come here and I'll be going like, uh, that I decided not to do that, uh, and I got rid of all of that. <laughs> um, I probably am gonna get rid of a lot of this actually. Uh, I don't really feel that I need that. So I'm going to get rid of it now. There we go. I think it's rather detracting from the... That's almost in line, isn't it? Oh, it's not that then. Uh, go for that one. There we go. Ah, uh, got a little step thing there. Uh, let's see if I can do this. It's a bit of a weird way of doing it, but it might work. Let's step, step, step. There we go. That solved that problem. That kind of looks good. Yeah. And then I can have it meeting up here, maybe. Linking up with that. Uh, probably continue the curve around. And then this will be the exit from one side, which will take us down. Uh, down to the boats. Yeah. That's kind of cool. And do the same that I've done here, but do it around here, just so it goes straight with that. Just so I can get it to level up with that, and then link across to there. Yeah. Right, what have I got? I've got lots of stuff. I want to take back with me. Actually, is that just a trophy on here then? <gasps> it is. Run, said, run, run. 
I'm not sure why you kept it. Okay, let's go back to the, the, the base. Stamina. Oh, hello. Well, that was handy, wasn't it? Why am I not picking that up? Someone's throwing a rock at me. Yeah, I don't think someone's throwing a rock at me. It got itself stuck in the wall. Right. Backwards we go. Uh, just going to offload some stuff. Oh, someone else is here. Oh, Ollie's here. one to have, isn't it? Uh, nine of those. Sixteen of those. <laughs> uh, that's some wide. Actually, that can stack there, can't it? Uh, got some more skelly bones. Got some wood. Uh, got some meat. I got some rock. Cool. So you can see we've uh, been around a bit, bit more around the place. Uh, there's a mountain here. I haven't actually explored that yet. Um, there's a whole area down here that I've not been to yet. There's also a whole area there that I haven't been to yet. All of some mapped areas. Uh, that did actually carry on. Uh, that looked like it was connecting up with something. I got the impression that maybe it connected up over here. I think there's an inlet here somewhere along this bit. It kind of had this sort of, there's a bit of a connection there. Um, but it's also the plains, so. Uh, but yeah, I wanna, I wanna go up here and just sort of see whether this connects up here or not. Because it certainly looks like it does, doesn't it? Um, and that could be a way into this area without having to go through that. You can go through there now. I've, I've cleared it out, but there's a troll that lives here. Um, I think, if I'm right, there was a troll here as well. So. I'll take the big boat. some food. 
Don't really need food when you're on the boat though, I've noticed. I'm gonna need some food to get on the boat. We've got to get to the boat now, haven't we? Probably a good idea to jump onto this. Wait for the stamina to go back up again. Yeah, this boat's making some strange noises. And it's constantly splashing. So it might be to do with... This might be the boat that's making that noise. Let's um, do that. Cloak is actually going through the floor. I don't know, dig out. I'm trying. Stand up. Oh, this one's had a bit of damage done to it as well, hasn't it? Oh, I need wood. I could repair it because they've got a thing up there. Ah. Let's just uh, swim over here a minute. Oh, I've only wood in the boxes. Oh. I completely forgot about that. Oh no, get up there. Yeah, thanks, game. Talk about that's the opportune moment for it to stutter just as I'm about to jump in the water. So I end up flopping into the water. Oh. Cool. Right. Have we got music player? Okay. Right. Let's hit reverse. So I'm quite pleased with my uh, 
harbour, my safe harbour. It's my harbour for safes. Oh, a couple of skelly bones over there. Fighting something. Probably fighting the thing that was in the ground that I couldn't hit. Um, but I couldn't see. So, good luck with that, guys. So I'm going to head up here. Right there. So I'm not worried about eating food now because, um, well, the only thing that can kill me now is a sea serpent. If a sea, sea serpent kills me, it'll be destroying the boat. And I'm not going to be able to swim back to shore, so... I'm just basically going to drown. I think I've got that marked on the map. Yeah, so I've got an inlet there. But it's definitely worth investigating that area. Could be a natural harbour. <laughs> We've been up on that mountain, and I don't think there's anything that we want up there, so... Well, I have been up there, but they have, the guys. There's that mountain there. That's a lot bigger than this one. That's definitely worth having a look, isn't it? Winds change direction a little bit. So I'm just going to cut the other side of it. Just keep the keep my speed up. Don't want to be crossing the ocean too slow. of um, trees. I don't know what's going on here. Doesn't seem to be loading anything, does it? Oh, it's meadows. There should be trees in there, though, surely. I wonder if there's there's been some issues with the server today, so I wonder if that's part of the problem. Obviously, I've already been up down this bit.
Right, so we're going into the wind now. So I'm just coasting. If I go that way. It's really weird, it's not... Oh, there we go, it's drawing something in. I think there's a bit of lag on the, on the game. I'm a bit fearful of the fact that at some point the game's just going to disconnect. But fortunately we've got another boat, so... learn is that if you've got a bit of momentum going uh, you can kind of keep it going for a bit as long as you don't do too much steering so uh, that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment right that looks like it's going off around that way and I want to go up this way so it probably makes sense that I'm going to heave over heave And a cross over to the other side. Oh, the wind's changing direction. Bloody would do that, wouldn't it? So when we get uh, the next boss, which I'm not sure when we're going to be doing that, um, might be this week, uh, the way uh, Reese is going, um, the, the buff that you get from that is uh, always have the wind behind you. So that'd be nice, won't it? So whoever's actually sailing the ship gets that. And then, uh, but I'm not going to hug the, the coast. I'm going to. Let me go up here. Oh. It's still class as Black Forest. That's quite a big ocean thing going on over there, isn't it? You can't see any land now at all. Visibility's not exactly brilliant, but there's no hints of anything in that direction. So the only reason this has been mapped is because I've actually travelled down the coast. So I haven't actually been up here in a boat. And I can tell you that there's a lot more trees than that. change my respawn point. I just realised <laughs> uh, we rested at uh, this uh, house and then we headed back. I haven't actually been to sleep in my normal base for a while. So, yeah.
I can see the hint of uh, land over there. Obviously we've got some land over here, got a bit of an island thing going on here. I'll go around the outside of it. Never really trust the rocks that could be lurking. It looks like some uh, land on just over over that area there, isn't there? On just on the left, which I'm now pointing towards again. Yeah. So this is uh, meadows. So it's back to normal. It's our normal starting area, isn't it? Meadows. It's the plains I've got to worry about because that's where the stupid death mosquitoes come come in. Yeah, so it doesn't look like that comes down there at all, does it? Unless it snakes round this way. Ah, so that could go around there, sort of, and come out. So it could link out. There could be a, a bit of a lake on the other side, and then and then another outlet there. Or it could be that that's just going into a, a lake there, and that's going into a lake there, and then that's it. Ooh. Hmm. I'm wondering with the the lack of. Uh, graphics that are going on here that it might be a good idea for me to head back to the base um, and then log out log back in again or something I don't really want to park the boat up, log out, log back in again and find that I'm surrounded by trolls or something stupid like that Was that noise? Hmm. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll have to turn.
The wind's changing direction. Is it? Oh no, it's not. Oh, it's a bit crap, isn't it? That's straight into the wind. Oh, there's some land over there. Come on. I'm doing tacking. It was showing some land in that direction, wasn't it? So I'll see if I can head over to that. So this goes straight down here for the moment. This is straight into the wind, unfortunately. That's why I'm having to go quite so, so slowly. But if you go on number one speed, then what you're actually using is you're using the... Uh, Using the tiller to propel the boat. You sort of do a sort of circular motion, figure of eight. Well, this boat this size, I don't think you would get that, and actually to be able to do that as one person. I feel like that would be a bit hard. It's more like a two person or engine motor type thing that you need to be doing to do something like that. But hey. Right. Okay. And now, of course, it's night time. There's like storm clouds over there as well, isn't it? Prog? Oh, Prog, that's um... There's uh, another uh, streamer. This is Black Forest as well. Gatto! <laughs> See, I could be being attacked by trolls and all sorts of things at the moment, but it's just not drawing the, the thing. There could be all sorts of things waving at me, as they usually do. I've got some speed here. Tianus! How you doing, my friend? Nerd. I'm a geek. I'm not a nerd. <laughs> I'm out sailing again. Last time you came here, I was sailing, wasn't that? You still streaming? I haven't seen you on for ages. Out. 
So I thought I'd do a bit of exploration, but uh, there seems to be something wrong with the game. Because it's not drawing in forests. We're in, oh, we're in meadows now. But it's not even drawing in trees or anything. Um, the server's gone a bit wonky. Uh, so I'm heading back. I was watching something uh, the other day, and it said that... Uh, Viking means um, people who sell ships. So I'm Viking. That's what I'm doing. The act of sailing ships is called Viking. That's what it means. Uh, going into the wind as normal. <laughs> That's good. I've uh, been up some mountains, uh, killed some drakes, um, got some silver. That was yesterday. Um, uh, killed a lot of uh, locks, which are the... Um, you know the shopkeeper? He's got a pet. Um, that's a locks. They're not easy to kill. Uh, you got to aim for their weak spot, but yeah, apart from that, not too bad. How are we doing? Straight down there. Uh, I'm going back here because that's where my uh, my port is that I've built. Rather proud of. So we're not going full tilt at the moment because we're not go. We've got crosswind at the moment. I've got plenty of space to veer to the right if I need to get away from uh, the serpent. <coughs> got some cloudberries which you get on the plains. Uh, back to work tomorrow, so. My, my week of uh, playing this game constantly to the detriment of all other games. <laughs> <clears throat> so I am going to have to turn left here, aren't I? So. Oh, it's not There's a lot to like about this game. Um, I always thought that I wouldn't like to play it because the graphics aren't um, realistic. But actually, I kind of don't mind. I much prefer a game that has good um, performance uh, over graphics, and sometimes that's the sort of the balance that you've got to do, you've got to sort of weigh out. I mean, if they went for realism, would it be as smooth as this? Would it be janky, especially on uh, um, uh, early access uh, multiplayer? Uh, and you've also got to consider that uh, this game has been written by five people. It started out as one person uh, in 2017, I think it was. Um, and by 2020, they were up to five people working on the game. Um, and I just found out that it was actually running on a website called itch. Itch.io, I think it was. So you could have played it on there, like in early, early access, alpha. Which is a bit of a shame because I would have liked to have done that. How did I hit there? Just a bit of rock. Nighttime sailing.
So the wind's actually pushing me, uh, it's actually pushing me over to the right a little bit. So I'm having to compensate a little bit by aiming a bit to the left. I've actually uh, been on a crosswind where it's actually almost rocked the boat right over and I'm about to sort of like, whoa, <clears throat> steer into the corner as it were, just to sort of, it's pulling over like that, so I just uh, lowered the sail a bit. Half sail, and then the boat was back up again. So this is the fastest boat of the three boats that you can have. Ah, daytime. Cool. Right, now it's raining. I've just got this anchor in to watch the 13th warrior. <laughs> I really like that film. Yeah, so at the time that they started writing this was back in 2000, what was it, 17, 18? Um, I'm going into the wind again now. So the wind's coming across from that direction. And it doesn't really matter if I go in that way. Oh, wind's changed direction now. So the wind's coming from that way now. This is cool. We have a half sail. Yeah, so I read an article where they said that basically they were looking at um, which sort of... They wanted to do something like this, uh, but... The, the sort of games that were coming out at the time there was quite a lot of Viking sort of stuff so they thought we'll go with Viking but of course since then we've kind of moved away from Vikings yeah, other games um, but yeah this game if they when they started working on the game there we go we've got trees growing again now No trees. There are trees. Let's just speed up, please. I am dry again. That's nice to see. I'd rather not be this close in, but... Let's go out a bit. And then we'll cut back in again. We've only got to go up to there anyway, I think. We've got to go up to here. And get around this corner. raining again. Oh, 
Oh. It's so tedious when, the, when it gets the wind going into your face all the time. But I get it. I mean, it's the, you've got to have the game do, do the thing. You've got to have the challenges. Otherwise, it's just... I mean, they got rid of um, the, the need to eat, the need to drink water, the, you know, the chores. They just got rid of it all together, um, and that's brilliant. That's really use useful, really good. Um, but you've still got to have that cha the challenges. So, <laughs> but I just feel like sailing is just that little bit kind of. If you're going to get rid of stuff because it's annoying, then. got to get rid of everything that's annoying. Anyway, you should be able to see a wall over there at the top of the screen. That's my base. My, my, uh, not my, my main base, but my, my port. <coughs> oh, it looks like there's a flag at the top, but it's not. It's just not bended in the, the top. There we go. see there's already a boat in there. Uh, that's a smaller version of this one. There's also a raft in there. So this base is a work in progress. I haven't actually finished it yet. Everything that you can see that's land, I've built, because this was just a shore before. Uh, there was the rock over there, there was some rocks on that side, and there was a, a rock just behind the, that boat there. So at the moment, I'm just drifting in now. I've, I'm just letting the momentum take me in. There we go. Hit the, hit the brakes. Let me break some more. Yeah, let me break a little bit more. That might be too much. I think that's it. Timed that well. Took a bit of damage from it, but yeah, that worked. Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of working on it at the moment. Um, I've just sort of built this tonight. This sort of curve. Um, I did have a bit more of an extravagant sort of uh, thing going down there, but that's where it, that's where it's going. Um, I'm going to fill this in here, so this this beach bit here is going to be filled up to probably about here and go across there and then across there so that area there is all going to be filled in but this bit with the um, with the stairs going up will remain as a means of being able to get up and inside um, I'm probably going to change that to uh, rocks going up a rock stairway stone stairway going up um, I think the stone stairway is at the same angle as that, so it should be okay. Uh, and then I can get rid of this roof that I've got along here that I've built just to protect the wood, stop it from weathering. Uh, I 
talking about I wonder if I can do the same with that. <clears throat> right, I'm going to do the same with this. That's true. And then we'll do that there as well. Cool. Neo. Sorry, the I'm trying to do that. It doesn't matter that it's overlapping like that. That's not an issue for me. nice uh, got to sort of patch that in uh, somehow That's all blue. There you go. change that one well I say what we can do we can uh, open the door we come around here uh, get rid of that and Almost died. <laughs> uh, I haven't got a craft table here. Oh, I know where I've got one. So it turns out, um, well, when I first started on working on this, I, I had I raised this up, and then I built, I dug down to make a moat, and I had that going across there, and it was all looking very good until a troll walked over and threw a rock at me. Uh, when it did that, I thought to myself, right, I need an extra layer of uh, defense. So I've built that there, uh, which I'm going to work all the way around to there. I've got a sim similar thing going on over this side, where it's going to go all the way around there. Um, I'm probably not going to have anything on it. Uh, it all goes up there and goes down there, doesn't it? Um, I'll just keep it going around. I, 
like that. And then we'll see what happens if a, a troll attacks. Uh, will it um, will it throw a rock over the top of that at me here? I feel like it probably will do. Uh, if it does, then I'll probably put another uh, fence around the outside. And if I'm putting a fence around the outside, then I probably don't need to have a fence on the inside. Is there an ogre? Ogre. Uh, troll. Right, what am I doing? Uh, I am going to move this uh, back over here and in here because it needs to be in here so I can use it. <laughs> Basically. Can't repair things. I kind of feel like that I don't need to do the curly thing on this one. I can just do a straight line. What's that? Don't know. Maybe. Anyway, um, I have sort of offered to the guys that maybe we can relocate the uh, the portal over here. But I was just thinking, actually, the portal could quite happily sit here, couldn't it? What's this bit? Anyway, I've just remembered that I need to go back and uh, reactivate my uh, bed. Right, I've got some wood in here. Let me take that wood with me. I don't think I need that, do I? I'll eat some carrot. I'll eat some of that. I'll eat some of that. round window so Ollie has been busy uh, and he's made this which is rather cool this is what got me uh, thinking with the idea of maybe doing the same thing excuse me with um, with my little base there you go I need to set it as a spawn point. So I still need to get some more uh, blood bags, which you get from uh, leeches, which you get in the swamp. Uh, I've got stacks. I don't know if you noticed, but I've got stacks of uh, thistles. Uh, and then I'll be able to make uh, some frost resistance. I've got loads of those, plenty of that, but that, two blood bag for every one I need to make. I've made some frost resistance there. Um, I probably want to make some of those uh, needle arrows, because blimey, 27 to 45, that's a huge... Uh, I'm, I'm, I kind of think Pierce is how the like the 60 I think it's six I I like to think it's 62 percent chance of uh, doing damage and then when it does it does 27 to 45 whether that's right or wrong I haven't got a clue it kind of makes sense to me right is there anyone else on oh yeah it's not night time. Um, that is, as they say, it for tonight. 
Uh, thank you for everyone who's joined me tonight. Oh, that I need to mute that, don't I? It's not working again. Hang on a minute, which one is it? Let's do that. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who's joined me tonight. Um, oh, you know, I, I keep forgetting. I need to do... I need to do um, uh, a YouTube intro at the beginning because people uh, are watching with the expectation that it's going to be a YouTube video, but it's not. I don't have the time or resources to make a YouTube video. I just upload everything as is. So um, you get all the boring bits as well. Um, all the outtakes, shall we say. Um, I normally do a raid at this point. So let's have a quick look at the old stream deck and see what it's telling me who's on. Um, Lutin, blimey, I haven't seen Lutin in, blimey. Lutin, Lutin's, um, um, he has opinions, shall we say, um, but I, I found him a long time ago and he was playing something else. He's doing, uh, just chatting at the moment. He, he's not so, someone who I know or anything like that, but he's just started streaming and just for something different. He's doing just chatting and talking about his voice at the moment, but hey, let's go, let's go and give him a little raid and then say hello okay he's not staying for very long apparently <laughs> he just said never mind anyway so it'd be cool if you can uh, join me for the raid a cheeky little raid that'll be what we call it isn't it um next stream is going to be on tuesday evening where i'm going to remember to play uh we were there to, together and um i'm also going to be doing some more breath hedge in the week as well so take care have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you tomorrow not tomorrow see you on tuesday bye